and welcome to the lobby GameSpot's weekly hangout every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Pacific, right here on GameSpot.com. <laughs> Are you doing the chicken dance? Obviously, I'm doing the chicken dance, Danny. Oh, damn it. I'm Danny. It's Wyatt, thematically appropriate. My good friend Christopher Waters. Hello. On the other side of the couch, and we're delighted to be joined by Greta and Jason from Loot. Thanks. You guys, you've created a game that is like the bane of anyone who is hosting a show <laughs> on How the internet so? because you called it. Fluster clock, and yep. I'm gonna have to look at the yeah. screen yeah. every time. <laughs> Think about so it. Don't say. You gotta say that one carefully. Yeah, do, that would be a terrible yeah. accident yeah. if you were to say that. No, yeah. that's that's what we want. Is like we want kids to be like, mommy, mommy, I want to play fluster clock. <laughs> and you know the parents are gonna be like, what? You want to play what? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fluster clock, E for this, everyone. This whole yeah. show is a fluster clock already, because I, I straight up forgot to put my mic on. Brilliant! Yeah! yeah. Professional! <laughs> we got a bunch of uh, big, uh, big, boring AAA games on later on, but yeah. uh, thanks yeah. for coming on and showing a game that uh, perhaps folks don't know about. This is coming out in uh, third week of October on PlayStation yeah. 4. Yeah, October 21st, PS4. And you want me and Christopher to immediately play it? Yes, we let's play. jump right into right. the gameplay, gents. Oh, yeah. So, just select career. There we go, select new. New. Cool, coach class. Got Don't it. worry, we'll see the other classes in a sec. Player two, press cross to join. Oh, select yeah. your UFO, your gun, your hat, your turret, your character. No okay. pressure, you have 10 seconds. Oh, <laughs> dude, get the, yeah. where's my what's chicken in the man? Yeah. I'm going for what's in the box. We're going to yeah. unlock this in a little bit here. Not okay. yeah. Pick All right. But he's super angry one. Gherkin. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, angry Gherkin. He's basically yeah. Rod Steiger from you know, Mars Attacks. Annihilate, kill, kill. So depending on your personality type, you choose which character you want. There, there we go. You ready to go? Top there, half. There, that one. Fry cook. Fry cook. Yep. yep. Like and, in the uh, yep. Little buddy. There we go. Awesome. Okay, this is a twin stick shooter with some resource collection. It's mm -hmm. pick up and play. So, what are you going to do? Left analog stick to maneuver. Right analog stick to rotate the camera. R2 to shoot the guns. Yours. Pick up objects with the cross button and bring them to the chickenizer. Should, should I be shooting Upside. him more or yes. getting the chicken? Oh, oh, you can do both. All right. Just got lit up. Wait, this Seriously. isn't a chicken. That's this right. is a cow. That's okay. You're going to turn it into chicken. Okay. It's the old joke. Why does everything nice. taste like chicken? Go. You're about to find, find out. Chicken. Drop everything in the chickenizer. That's how you what score points. Get that are these, are special these, weapon. Yep. Is this AI? Hit Hit the well, you're playing button. against one human opponent and two AI opponents. Is that going to automatically yep. get him? Yep. There, there you go. Okay, now go. There you nice. go. You have your cow. Perfect. So Up you're in the, the lead. Dog. You got 25 points. Come on, points. cow. Come on. In Come the on. You got 10 points. You can catch up to this. Drop. There we go. Now, Drop there's it. a special <laughs> weapons dispenser. It's a glowing purple icon on the map. Where is it? Find that special weapons dispenser. It's at the bottom of the map. And then hit. It's a glowing floating Oh, wait, there's more than just Danny in here. Fly over it. There you go. Okay. Now, player one, you have an afterburner. Special weapons used with the square button. Go down. Perfect. There you go. Come on. So grab special weapons. Esports! Yes. Get away from this. Here we go. Perfect. If you shoot down one of your opponents, turn him into chicken. Chickenize him. Everything no, goes into chicken. It's not everything okay. must be turned away into chicken. Absolutely you everything. Shot. You yeah, there you go. You got him. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's close. Miss? You're in first. There you go. Okay. There we go. Oh, sneak That's it four, in. You got four seconds three, left. Get some chicken eyes. Come on, come on, come on. What? Oh! No! Oh! oh! Is it a tie? Shot down. Is it? All right, who won that one? I think it's a tie. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's, let's, I actually don't know who won that one. Yeah. It was probably me. All right. Nice. And you have been promoted to the undercounter gun removal technician. <laughs> Thank you, will Christ. Be paid. <laughs> this is like way better than Destiny. It would have taken five hours to get that. I'm getting All paid in free chicken. gum. All games need chicken, chicken in them. Yeah, what should we do chicken. next? Okay, yeah, so I'm going to borrow it. that controller from you for a sec. Do it. We're going to do something really cool here. This game is shipping with a hidden code. What? Are you yes. Gonna, but you're going to tell it right now? So we're not going to tell you the code, but we're going to show you what All the code right. does. Okay. So, this code, what it does is really cool. I'm going to look at your controller. It was left, right, left, right. It was yeah. uh, some buff. It's the Konami it analog like, sticks. He we, drew a, we he know drew a chicken face it. on okay. the touchpad. So, <laughs> <laughs> this opens up the secret menu. Big hat mode. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. best. Unlock everything. Yeah. Perfect. Now we're going to show you what this game's horsepower really God has. So, gentlemen. God mode. Lady. Oh, you're not ready for divine chicken. That's that comes later. <laughs> yep. So divine now we're gonna go chicken. into battle. <laughs> we're gonna do chicken hunt. This unlocks everything in the game. So we've got the alpine level. We've got the desert level. We've got burned out zombie city. We've got spaceship. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we're gonna jump into a level, and we're gonna go straight first to first class. class. It's is time that, for a first class. Is fluster. that difficulty? Uh, actually, no. You can adjust the AI's difficulty, but in this case, we're all playing against each other. So go ahead and join in. Oh, sorry. Thanks. This time I will be Cornichon. Yeah, you'll be Cornichon. Yes. I'm going to be Kimchi. Nice. Cornichon. She's cute. And you got to select which, which guns you want, which hat you want, because all these things change the stats. Like some hats give you more damage, some give you more health, more regeneration, etc. Are you guys going to be selling hats? And your ships. Is this, is this Team Seven Fortress 2? <laughs> <slower or some laughs> okay. Right now, damage. everything, this game is so shipping with wisely. everything in there. You just have to unlock it in the campaign or use the code Sombrero, if you want to have obviously. a big party Sombrero's atmosphere. Sombrero's a good game. one. Yep. I'm going to pick Gherkin because Gherkin nice. makes all our graphics here at GameSpot. Yes. Including the intro for the lobby. Here we go. 
Okay. I'm gonna kill this is all it. you. Free for all. Prepare to be chicken. Square is the uh, special weapon when we pick okay, it up. Okay, the special weapons dispenser is the glowing purple icon. There's a few of them on this map. So you pick up your special weapon. Camels. Nice. I'm out of time. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna kill. Oh, them. eat oh! it. Oh, hey. Get nuked. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Now, did you notice, you when you use your special Jesus. weapon, the sound effect of me getting shot down actually came out of my controller it speaker. Because I owned you so hard. Yes. Oh. That is actually true, you did. <laughs> Get it. Yeah. Get it. Remember, no shooting down the narrator. Okay. Everyone shoot down the narrator. <laughs> I'm going to kill all you I saw a chicken. I think ah. I might have shot it. Hey! Who's player four? What? Don't worry about it. Who's player four? <laughs> what? Just... what? You traded. You got worked. Okay. Cool. You got worked. Uh, Never underestimate the power of a chicken. Uh, that is very true. Greta actually chicken? wiped Sorry. the floor yes. with all of us. <laughs> It was hilarious to watch. We're like, okay, we'll go easy on you, no problem. And all of a sudden, two you know, two minutes later, we're all smoking UFO wrecks. I love this vaguely Arabian music that's playing. <laughs> well, we are in the desert level right I'm now. Right? Yep. So it's like everything no. is powered by oh, chicken. Oh, no. Where are Absolutely the everything. I'm oh. Stop oh, dropping nice. the camel nice. in the inappropriate <laughs> player, place. Player four, you've got a turret. Press the square button. Drop that turret off. It'll oh. auto-target your enemies. Hey! Who's player two? I'm I'm just killing the people. I don't. <laughs> I feel like this is like an allegory for modern day farming, and that there are no more <laughs> camels left. Dude, this is a traffic jam on the 405 in LA. <laughs> nice. Right. Not last. Very Second. cool. Second. Nice work. Very cool. <laughs> awesome. Mother cluckers. <laughs> yeah. Mother cluckers. That was a first class fluster cluck right there. Very nice. Who was purple? Who was scoring more than everyone win. else combined? This is what win. we've been dealing with. We've been working on this vicious. game for like 18 months. She comes <laughs> right on in and just smokes all of us. Not cool. Good job. Right. <laughs> so how about this time? How about 2v2? Let's do right. teams. Should we do that? I'm on Greta's team. All right. yeah. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Okay. <laughs> I, get, I, get, I get this loser. All right. All right now so we're going to... Uh, that's okay. We've got a special right. attack. Yep. Yep. On your team <laughs> yeah. well, we've we got a special attack. We're going to be the red girl. So we're going to do what? team chicken oh, okay. hunt. Fine. You become the purple. There we go. Believe, this time we're going to do you. some burned out right. zombie city action. Makes the most I'll of this chicken. Zombies. The other, other green meat. So grab your character, your UFO, your hat, and let's jump in. This one's got a little shamrock on it. Oh no, who has the shamrock ship? Give me that ship. <laughs> Donnie Sean. Oh. Cool. Yes. No, I don't want to be him. I want to be, sorry, Gherkin's shit. I'm going to be someone else. Yeah, go for someone else. Because all these characters have their own personality. Magnetar obviously is, when well, he's not subjugating planets, he's turning everything into chicken. I love subjugation. Yeah. I'm doubling down on chicken. Ooh, okay. Chicken, chicken hat on my UFO, on chicken. chicken inside the UFO. What? All right. Powered oh, by yeah. chicken. It's like all right. that, what's that sandwich you can get right, where it's got the ready. chicken on the outside? Right. Danny, <laughs> stop trying to distract me. Double down. All right. Grab the zombies, bring them to the chickenizer. That's how you score points. Delicious chicken. There's warp pipes in this level. If you find the warp pipe, you might get to the chickenizer a little faster. Try and get over that Perhaps. stupid wall. Maybe. All right, what special weapons do we have? Player two, you've so got a warm. health power up, so. If you, oh, nice. Shit. There we go. Hey, stop shooting. Oh, at I got me over like the wall. Hey! <laughs> there Come we go. On. Come on. Eat it. I got hey. wasted. Nice. That's right. But not before I scored hell on <laughs> zombie points. Ah. There we go. Zombie. This is mine. This is mine. Oh! Nice. Player four, you've got an air-to-air -air missile. Activate with the square button. Yeah, hit that, hit that button. Eat it, all of you. Oh! oh! Nice. Uh, uh, Not uh, cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, if you uh. shoot someone down, remember to chickenize them. Player four, you are a camper, sir. <gasps> you have earned uh -oh. the special what? camping icon. You're in trouble. You what? Must, you must get away from the chickenizer before you camp too long. If you That's are great. remaining a camper, you I'm will not, not even get there. more points. I mean, this is crazy. Get away and then... All right, You're not fine. the type of person who camps when you play games, right? right. No, no. Not, at, not even I mean, at all. a little not bit. Remote. I mean, a little bit sometimes. did you bring the marshmallows? Did you make some s'mores? <laughs> huh? Where is this goddamn... There we go. Okay, player two, you just deployed to turn. Player three, you've got a mine. I do, I just put it down. Nice. But I wish Can it was I a chicken mine? so I could I turn it into food. <laughs> Chickenize anything you oh, shoot down. God nice. Did I tell you to pick up Who's number one? Number one. Number one. Yeah. Yeah. The, our team. But remember, we there win. is a special win attack. So in the event that you're behind on points and you Let's need to catch up, the special attack that you have to use is very simple, very straightforward. Give me that. Hey, 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 <laughs> yeah, hey. See? It works every time. It's very, very. It didn't effective. work that it's time. Proven. It didn't even work that, work that one time. We tried to do it. You're my shield for that. You well, gotta. Yeah. There we go. Good yeah, reflexes. All right. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Like, game, Revenge. Wait. Time. Am I turning? To, to, like. Are we getting treasure now? <laughs> treasure yep. Treasure chicken? chests. You guys just so. didn't. You guys kind of. Everything can be turned into right, chicken. Okay. This yes. is a fluster clock. Okay. I can even turn you Why into chicken. Why are there zombies, camels, 
cows, UFOs, treasure chests. Why not? It's a fluster clock. Go with it. Because your artists weren't given any direction, so they just made assets <laughs> for everything. They're like, sure, Dude, we'll do whatever. Our, our, our creative leader, our artist in this game is hilarious. His name is Remy. He is brilliant. He's just every French stereotype you can ever think of. He's great. Hello, hello, Where's the croissant is level? He's like, I do not care about any of this. You will enjoy it. You will play it. What? You don't like the chicken? You is will the, turn everything into chicken. Is the bitter irony that he's actually Italian and you guys don't know what I <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. All right. Somebody just, is about to get a missile. Ah! Oh! No, not me. <gasps> there you go. <sighs> Vicious. Yes. Oh, God. And you're about Spell to be chicken Nice. This is payback. Come here, turret. Get away oh, from hey, me. Put the turret there. I picked it up. Oh, I see how it is. All right. Hey, put that turret there. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay. Oh, no. Come here. I'm pretty sure laying down artillery when someone is trying to use a major thoroughfare is against the California DMV. Come on. It's against the Geneva Fine. Convention. Yeah, it is against Geneva the Geneva Convention. convention. Weapons of mass chickenization. <laughs> All right. Have Dude, you've got to be running out of chicken puns soon. <laughs> you can never Are you kidding me? For 18 months. This is an entire game built on chicken puns. This, this like, entire game. Do you, does your family even listen to you anymore? Like, no. When you sit down for They've dinner, disowned me. My dog doesn't even listen to me anymore. I just turned a turret into a chicken. <laughs> yes. Because in this game, everything I can be chicken. Yeah, I know. Applied chicken technology. <laughs> Danny, I What's don't know if you're grasping it here. <laughs> What is something that you do on a daily basis? Oh, I can't say that on there. Brush no. my teeth. <laughs> okay, that's applied chicken technologies. <laughs> Brushing your teeth. You, you probably didn't realize you brush your teeth with chicken. With chicken. What, chicken, chicken feathers? You do. Oh, I just derped you. You derped. Yeah, yes. Chicken taste. That is what happens when you run over your own special weapon. Sure. Hey, who just hit me with a missile? Come I here. did. Oh, really? <laughs> All right, where are Go you? Go team. So I'm going to put down a turret so I can yeah. chicken it. All right, I see how this is. Come here. <laughs> no. Yeah. Eat it. All right, I think it may be time for the special weapon attack. I think it may be that time. Hey, no, get, 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 come on, I got, I got a button. Keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. All right, I'm all right with it. Okay. Got a trophy. <laughs> I'm gonna win this one. I swear to God. Yep, we got, we got to win this no, one. No, you we definitely gotta get are this. not. Oh yeah, we're on the same team. I forgot. Yep. I have not, I have not been helping you at all. <laughs> no, don't worry about that. All we have to do is just punch yeah. them in the face, okay. and we will win. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, <laughs> that is a legitimate chicken coop approved strategy for winning Fluster Clock. So I like. At this point, we kind of like run out of treasure chests around, so, so the only now we have to kill each other. The only, yeah. uh, the only is, chicken left all right. is each other. Man all right, is come the over here. Yes. <laughs> nice. All right, here we go. Oh! I must hurry to the chicken chickenizer. In the immortal oh. words of Scarface, how you like that? Come here. That was a really good French accent. There is. <laughs> you guys have been That's the accent you can do. Do a German accent. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm not no. sure I can. Oh. There we go. Do not yeah. chickenize me. Nice. Do it, do it, do it. I'm run that away. was teamwork, because I killed it. I know, right? You almost need chicken We are a comfortable lead. I know. There Getting you go. shot by these guys <laughs> can only hurt us. Like back in power. And you have, to chicken right. eyes. you have to chickenize your opponents quickly or they'll disappear. Go. Yep, because they respawn. Get it. Get it. So, hey. Oh. Dun, 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 you guys want to use that sound effect for your winning game. That's fine. I heard. I didn't win. I will license that to you. He helped too. It's okay, come hang out with us. You can play with me. <laughs> Number one, baby. Nice. Eighty chicken bits. Nice. Uh, what is what? Nice. What are you, units is that? Chickens? Ch yeah, I mean everything is chicken. The so. international currency of chicken. Okay, yeah. well, that's fair. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do one more. All right, one more. Here we go. All right. I feel like we're going to win. Think you like it out at this point, Danny? Think we're going to be able to do like a non terrible job? Lots of things can get turned into chickens. Everything can get turned into chicken. We are going to tar and feather them. That's how hard this is going to get chickenized. Come here. <laughs> no! All right. You can't turn the chickens into chickens. Oh. Well, that's going pretty meta. Oh, you're going in the chicken into chickenizer. No, you disappear. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, oh, there we oh, go. No! Yes! 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 That was Hedge, that was like some Tom Brady action there. <laughs> Picked it out of your hands. Nice. What? That's not what Tom Brady does. The opposite does. of Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. She was being Tom Brady. <laughs> There we go. In, who, who in this scenario is Tom? I don't understand. She's Tom Brady. <laughs> I intercepted it, right? You yep. got it. Okay. It, there's nothing more fun than stealing chicken from someone else. Your metaphor situation could use a little work. That's why I, I keep putting oh, like chicken AFC. bricks. Nice. Chicken Come here. Bricks. Nope. Somebody. Ah, all right. Oh, we only got 20 seconds Drop left. Drop that chicken. Here we go. Come on. No. Now, an improved no. tactic you can use, put a mine on top of the chickenizer. It is perfectly legal in this game. Oh, oh, oh he chicken you. What the? You got chicken. <laughs> what? He turned your mind into a what? chicken. Oh, wait, we are come going back to here. You lost later. us this game. You are they going to be chicken puns? Oh, I see. Okay, I see how this is. This is. All right. Oh, in, <laughs> just devolved into infighting. Yeah. You know, it's just. Yeah. 
Just a sad state of affairs over <laughs> there. <laughs> nice. Give it up here, Greta. Tie, high oh, five. that was pretty awesome. Good luck. Yeah. That was pretty good. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Victory is yeah. ours. It well, for I suck now, at that but game. only for now. When can people play uh, this fluster clock of a video game? Fluster clock, October 21st on the PS4. October 20th, that's pretty close. Yeah, yeah. that's really, yeah. really close. Uh, your studio is weird. You were telling me beforehand <laughs> how you guys were like instrumental in the creation of the DVD format. We did a bunch of crazy stuff. Yeah. We what? really did. We actually helped. We helped DVDs? To, we helped. I've heard Blu-rays. of those. Yeah. Kind of important stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. we did some bit. pretty crazy stuff. I mean, we actually helped Pioneer, part of the DVD format. We did a yeah. bunch of crazy stuff. We're a game studio right now focused on porting games to PlayStation, bringing our own IPs to PlayStation, but we've done a bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. They made PlayStation Home stuff. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that yeah. good? Is Home shutting down soon? I think yeah, it is. the announcement went out about that. You, you know, you but guys gonna have like a last there. hurrah in there, like a nice chicken dinner, <laughs> like a free meat PlayStation chicken Home. Dinner. Yeah. yeah. Big chicken dinner. Right. Chicken suits. Well, yeah. 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 I'm not afraid to put on some feathers. Yeah. It's fine. There you go. I'm just saying massive geek cred right there. That All actually, yeah, we should yeah, we should just every come single in one of us with the headdress. Yeah, because well, underneath <laughs> these lights, the last you know, just some downy fluff is yes. all you need on top of. Yeah, it. yes, it's almost winter. Some, you know, some adhesive. It's welcome to the lobby. Coating the skin. Of hyperthermia. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> Stick with the classics. <laughs> with the, all right, yeah. Evil Within trailer is up next. But Jason Greta, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks so and showing much. Showing us. Plastic <laughs> You got thing, it. You got it. Thing. We did one quick thing. If oh, we you can. do? We did one thing. For everyone who's been watching the lobby, Splits if you guys like viewers. this, you guys like this game, you want to play this game, go to our Facebook page, <laughs> Cluster Clock Game. Don't and put in Cluster Fuck Game. <laughs> <that's something laughs> yeah. else. Answer this question. What is the icon that you get when you're camping? You saw it when these guys were playing, because he's a camper. Is it a chicken? Spurious claims. <laughs> is it a chicken? We're going to select Slender. 10 people who answered that question, select randomly, and they're going to get a free copy of Fluster Clock. Sweet. Yeah. Not immediately, though, when it no, comes you out. No, you got to answer by 9 a.m. tomorrow. Yeah. And 9 like a.m. Our page. tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And what? Like, like our, our Facebook page. And like your page. Yep. Yep. All right. Social media yes. happening right here in the lobby. Uh, we'll be back in a second. We've got uh, Shadows of Mordor to end the show, but next up is Forza Motorsport nope. Horizon nope. 2. Needs chicken. Almost <laughs> what it's called. Needs chicken. <laughs> Evil Within. <laughs> from the father of survival horror, Shinji Mikami, takes us into the twisted world of Detective Sebastian Castellanos as he unravels the horrific details of who or what is terrorizing Crimson City. What the hell? Weapons and ammunition are a luxury. One you cannot always depend on when confronting the haunted. Out of ammo. Not having them at your disposal can turn what should have been a quick kill into a run for your life. Staying hidden in the shadows may save your life and give you the upper hand when ammo is running low. The Evil Within is a living nightmare of sinister creatures, unforgiving environments, and lethal traps meant to capture, maim, and kill. You'll need to be creative and figure out how to turn obstacles into assets. While sometimes your enemies may appear to be dead, it's best to make absolutely sure. 
there are points where Sebastian can access a safe haven known as the Asylum. You're always welcome here. It is in this mysterious place that he can upgrade his weapons, abilities, and inventory. These upgrades will help you with your survival. Without them, you're as good as dead. To solve the mysteries of a city where everything has gone wrong, you'll need to survive first and foremost. But learning the tools of the trade will only help your chances. Because you'll need more than bullets if you're going to make it out alive. The Evil Within! Chris, do you have any interest in playing that video game? I don't, Danny. Do you not? Dude, no, you know this about me. Scary games, you like them? games that are trying to like mess with you with weird crap. No, <laughs> I don't like it. I played uh, like, I played, like Resident yeah. Evil 4, I really like that one, but that unnerved me. And yeah. Resident Evil, like the original one with the fixed camera angles, forget it. It took me months to get through really? that. Yeah, that stuff messes with my brain. I don't dream right after that happens. <laughs> I don't sleep well. No thank you. What about Alien Isolation then? Because that's... It's, I it's, would it's, give it a shot. It's creepy, but yeah. it's not the, uh, the different type of horror. Yeah, but like, so like, I would try Alien Isolation, but like Dead Space. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. It's too good Yeah. at freaking people out, and I'm very susceptible to that. Guys, I don't stop like it. talking about horror games. We've got car games to talk about. Andy Bauman. Hi, All right. Hey. That sounds good. Andy Bauman's here, and we're oh. going to play uh, Forza Horizon I? Motorsports 2. Right? Yeah, yeah. No, so Danny. I went Forza into the Motorsports tuning venue. Horizon There's 2. no motorsports! Because Forza Horizon 2! Nailed it. Look at this action, you guys. I can set the tire pressure. Oh, man. Hold on. Where do you think I should go? 2.2. 2.2! No. No. Uh, can you mess Let's with your go. diff? Yeah, hold on. We'll get to the diff. Okay. <laughs> okay. I really want a lot of... That much pressure in the front. I told you 2.2. And then that and much you said in the no. rear. Okay. Apply. All right, let's go to the diff. Okay, diff it up. What is the diff? Just it's give it's me, at the back. Give me the diff. All right. You sound oh, like a locked? bunch of... What? It's All locked. Right, forget it. Just we're drive going, a we're driving. goddamn car. Andy, you were a big fan of mm. uh, the, photo, the Forza Motorsport series. Yeah, well, uh, specifically 4 and 5. Yes, uh, but Horizon has... You're also a very talented driver. I was, you can't Danny knock dared me to. They're ballers kill right them, there. And then I Impenetrable. Couldn't. So we're playing on Sean's account. Yep. Mm. Uh, who is not here today, so I took his place. Indeed. As the Forza guy. He has reviewed the game on GameSpot.com. That is factually no. inaccurate. Is it <laughs> not true? Is it not up yet? <laughs> no. no. Okay. It wasn't him either because he was too close. He's too close to the he game. He previewed oh, it a Christ. whole bunch. Yeah, so now I'm stuck in here. Oh, no, ballers. All right, so Forza Horizon 2 is takes everything that's great about Forza, was the tuning. The amount of cars you can drive, the physics system, the, the telemetry of, of the driving, mm. and brings it into an open world. Basically, like that. Do you see that commercial where the cars were going on the track and they were like stuck in the in the track divot? I should probably keep my hands on the wheel. Keep <laughs> your hands and on then, the uh, wheel, Bowman. And then they break away from the track, and then they're they're all having Let fun make, and like. Wee, 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 whenever we're in I saw Sean world. playing this, he seemed to just be driving through forests. Yeah, that's at breakneck that's speed. Yeah. yeah, that's actually like. Let me make the description really of this good. game a lot easier for you, Andy. Okay, go. Forza Horizon Two is the sequel to Forza Horizon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know. <laughs> uh, but it's in Europe. So sure. instead of road tripping across the United States to go to festivals and listen to music Colorado? and whatnot, that yeah, was the first one, yeah, 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 Colorado. Um, Which is you're in like Italy Utah. and France. Yeah, this doesn't look like Ireland. No, this, this looks is like definitely the nice like part of Europe. Europe. Just fucking killing people on the road. No, dude, those you know, rub painting is wait, rubbing is racing. Rubbing it yeah. down. I heard that somewhere. So no, see, I'm staying on the road like a good force of driver. Sure. None of this horizon malarkey. Uh, these are all driver tires as well, right? Some of them. A lot of these are just cars that get in your way. Like, they're just pure Yeah, AI. so these these are just AI cars, but then you will, anytime you see a name, I don't think we're hooked up to an online session, so they're gonna yeah. be all drive -atars. Okay. Uh, yeah, the drive -atar stuff that Forza introduced in Motorsport 5 is here and still pretty good from the yeah, reports. Yeah, drive -atars are actually really good. Uh, they make the driving really unpredictable. Everybody kind of just runs into each other. Yeah in Forza 5, so I imagine it's kind of like that in this game. But. I loved how they had personality because uh, apparently, I don't know why, because I actually thought I was quite a decent driver in Forza, but apparently my drive guitar was an absolute jerk. Oh, but I've, it's, I've it's, seen your drive oh, really? on my Forza 5. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that's cool. It's cool that like, 
you, you would see somebody's name and be like, oh no, like, <laughs> yeah, they're gonna take oh, me out or something me. like that. Oh. Yeah, it adds a little more personality to the whole mm. racing experience. So like, even if it is fake robo personality that <laughs> yeah. they made up based on your data. I basically. sure wish I knew what to do in this game, Chris Waters. Why don't you tell me? <laughs> well, Andy, there are I'm trying to there well. are quests and side quests you can go on to earn new loot and level up. Okay. Chris, tell me about barns. How do we? Do also, that? there are some places on the map that you go and search for a barn, and it's basically just you driving around Whoa. being like, "Hey, is there a barn here?" And not finding a barn, and then your live stream ends on a real low note. <laughs> Oh, so you've been here before. And when you go to the barn... That was just a random example, not specific at all. What, does the chat have any specific... Uh, Let's take a look at the map real quick. You know, quick. whatever questions. Hold on, I can't pause when I'm driving. You yeah, can, you can. Cause it's, cause You're it's a offline. Video game. Oh, wow, what? It's crazy. Look, let's look at the world map here. France! So here you are in France. <laughs> oh, look, it's uh, nice. It's pretty nice in France. It is nice, yeah. France is nice. Uh, and you look around, like, if you head to the east, then you're into, like, Italy Never area. Eat. That's soggy waffle. Oh, the Horizon east. Festival town. Italia. Yep, the Horizon. So you go to these festivals that have different car events, but then you've got Let's also go. these, like, bucket list chat. Like, I think you can fast travel to Horizon Points. But also these, like, all those little green icons are bucket list challenges where you go and do a very specific very, thing with a very okay. specific car. I remember that. Uh, there's other stuff that's sort of, like impromptu races uh, inside of this Montalino like inside this big opaque circle mm. is, is the barn hunt Ooh. that Sean and I tried at the end of the live stream but we're unsuccessful at finding that can barn you, can you like pick an off-road race there can I go on a duck tour into this lake you know Probably. those those big trucks that go yeah the there's water a duck tour those. boat in Forza Horizon <laughs> they have too. they have 200 cars <laughs> why not a duck try and find an off-road race Okay. Maybe like closer to where you actually is the are. the orange one there? Oh, really? Well, can I just fast travel? Yeah, just click on one. Yeah, yeah just, just click. If you look one. near near yourself, then you can, you know, just drive. Is this a race? It. Nope. That's oh, that's van. a drive guitar. That's van hanging out. Th those are like yeah, speed like, zones. Mm -hmm. So if you kept going, if you kept going at high speed, currently you would go through that speed zone. It's kind of like a leave your stamp, and then your buddies see you're yeah. like uh, you're. All right, let's go to this. Oh, is it car there's an orange one over there. If you want to off-road, there's one that's literally in the middle of a giant, empty forest. Is it right oh, there? I see that. It's new, too. Do it. Bucket list. All right. How do I fast You're travel? never going to make it there. Try to fast oh, travel to fast the Horizon travel? Festival. Okay. Down here? Yeah. Okay. Where uh, are X. Press X. X. Yeah. Where's Larry? zero credits. You get this to look at the scenery. Now, now we get to sit in traffic for a while. Well, we it's also get to see the scenery. It's pretty. Look at this really coastline. Is. Have you ever been to the European coast of the Mediterranean? So I'll share with you guys yeah. why I like playing Forza so Is it much. because you Please do. You kind of accidentally bought a Subaru <laughs> two weeks ago? <laughs> that That's probably a... Um... <laughs> you bought a car by accident. So you should set your not, waypoint not by so you know where you're going. I bought a baller WRX. You did, I'll have but, you and then know. had that's instant cool. buyer's remorse. Which well, a little bit, but you set know, your waypoint. It's got one of those really retardedly loud, sorry, that's a bad word. To On use. the map. It's uh, fine. Mufflers, and so it's awesome. It's got a really loud muffler? Yeah. Okay. Which, you know, that's just not my personality, but... It is now. There you it go. Is now. Top left. Top left. Right here. Perfect. So Get there. Get there, Andy. I, did, I am. Let's go back. All right. So anyway... Instantly turn around that, again. I would say yeah. that's a symptom of being into Forza because, as Brian, really, as Brian Eckberg puts it. Oh yeah, GameSpot Forza alumni turns, member yeah. Brian Eckberg, now current he works at turn 10, developer of Forza uh, Horizon, on the community side of things. And he, his quote when we went and filmed this huge like thing about Forza Five was, "We want to turn game lovers into car lovers and car lovers into game lovers." And as hokey as that sounds, Forza totally did that. That's it, how it happened to you. Yeah, and. Uh, when I'm playing this game, it's it literally is like being in the moment in a way that no other game uh, really gets you. It kind of reminds me of like playing games like Skate, where you're just kind of ambling around. Mm -hmm. You're like just picking up, getting distracted, and like exploring and stuff like that. Oh yeah, and like I don't. I think we're not playing with all the. I guess you could say the modes of <laughs> like how hard it is to play. Like if you turn on the simulation settings to yeah. you know. No traction control assist, no anti-lock brake assist, no automatic Crashes steering assist. Crashes actually aren't just cosmetic damage, yeah. they cause body so damage. Like, oh yeah. It's actually challenging to play that way. It's not good for the stream probably, but like, you really learn how to feather the triggers and feather the, the control sticks and like listen to the car for feedback. It and is like, people. you know when you're gonna lose traction. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that driver tar is having trouble. I bet probably the, I bet the Europeans are really angry at all these folks just turn it up and drive it through <laughs> driving the cars all around 
Yeah, it's a real detriment to the local agricultural scene. <laughs> Not to mention the wildlife just being terrorized. I hope. Yeah, so that's why I love Forza, because you really lose yourself in the game. More than you do with like another arcade type racer, because those just don't have the same feeling, I guess. And, uh, yeah, because I always, uh, yeah, it was a kind of a misnomer when the first one came out that I always, I kind of thought, oh, it's, it's the arcade version of Forza. And, it, you know, maybe to a certain extent, in terms of like the game modes there and stuff, is. but like, uh, yeah, it's, the driving, the handling, all that stuff is still. Yeah, like it retains all that stuff. Yeah, the, the, the telemetry is modeled in such a way that it's just, it's so thrilling to drive. I don't know, like compared to the crew, for example, like yeah. All right, great well, job, Andy. Yeah, live streams. Woo! Great job. You can get there. Yeah, you, there's like a ton of rocks. Just drive around them. How, just, how yeah. do? Can, I'm close enough. Can just I just drive into it? this Jeez. ancient, come on, friggin' building, <laughs> which like now has got all your dirty. Yeah. Nissan, or whatever this is. I think it's a it. Peugeot? Peugeot. There we go. There you go. Or a Renault. No, it's a Renault. 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 These aren't American cars. I don't know how to pronounce them. Ford. Rally Alantia Delta S4 through a forest at no. night. I feel like I've seen this one a million times because they put it in the, uh, <laughs> the preview coverage. Is that on your bucket list? No. I have like, have a threesome on mine, but I guess In a Ford will... Alantia or whatever yeah, car Yeah, in a is. forest at night. In a forest at Whoa, night. Whoa, that is not the button for change views anymore. <laughs> 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 All right. Hey, Chris, how do I change views? Oh, I rewound. Why? That's how you do it. No, that's how you rewind. It looks pretty as well. Well, Shoulder button. So. Click the stick. This is okay. Is this where you meet Shoulder Slender button. Man? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, dude. It's oh, called dude. Slender Man. Woo! Dude. Woo! 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 Guys, want to go on a road trip? <laughs> I'm a really good driver. Guys, trust trip. me. I do oh, this all the time. Oh, it's fine. Oh, sparks. Andy, you've had too much to drink. Let's Guys, just, it's all right. I've had a few, but I'm cool to drink. There were Bud Lights. It's fine. There's barely any alcohol in those. <laughs> They're Utah beer. There's only three. This one time I drank like three forties and did this, and it was fine. This is the worst. You've ever seen someone drive? <laughs> you got it. That's Keep it up. Yeah, don't worry about hold that. Hold on, guys. Take, this is a fresh, sh let's fresh shot. Let's down. Hold on. You got mm -hmm. it. You got it. Mm -hmm. All right, here we you go. All right, let's go on. for yeah. it. You have to dodge all the farmers banging that you see. Whoa! Watch out for the through. trees. Whoa! Whoa! That was unavoidable. <laughs> you saw it. That tree came out of that nowhere. That tree just jumped up, man. <laughs> these fast-growing trees. I don't know what these GMO oh, crops they're growing <laughs> in Europe now. Monsanto trees. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Instagrow trees. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, all right. Oh, oh is yeah. that the Horizon Festival over there? Because it's sure, is that a river? You're definitely going to make oh. it in one minute. Hold on, let me turn on the seconds. turbocharger. <laughs> oh, nope. Try again. Right, or don't. Right. Well, now that I know where the trees are, we'll have it better. We'll, uh, you going to give it another try? You try again? Yeah. I bl Hold on, we have to. I don't really load believe in like you. I usually minutes. tell people I believe in them to like <laughs> bolster her confidence. Husbert, I'm not feeling hold confident. On. Andy. I just didn't have a tight enough grip on the controller. Okay. I feel it helps. You gotta wipe your. Sweater. Yeah. And you gotta really grip. You could hit it. the gas at the start of the race. Also. Yeah. I like that you, you just the idled for two seconds for no reason. <laughs> I wasn't ready yet. All right. It's, it's gonna pay off. off. Jesus Christ. Get drifting, in the zone. Girl. I'm drifting. Get in the Jesus zone. Christ. Tokyo, drift your way down this French yeah. hillside. And avoid these oh, crazy gosh. Monsanto trees. Oh, oh, it's very thick. Slender. The, slender. the forest is very Whoa. thick right now. <laughs> oh, man. That means Slender Man's getting close. <laughs> yeah, the screen gets all Yeah, the screen gets all crazy. cracked. <laughs> I hope they didn't want this car back in one piece. Oh. This is why you don't let me drive your own car. Like, noted. This is like getting to my parents' house, though, really, so I should be good at this. Yeah. Bolting through the woods. Yeah, yeah. is your speeds. dad Slender Man? You have to like hit a ramp at the e exit of the forest to even, leap a canyon to get to your parents. He's not even going towards the destination. He's just like he's scared no, of the it's trees. Fine. Turn left. Don't worry, dude. Did you see how clean that exit was? That was, was? nice. That was, that was really good. Come on. You're yeah. gonna eat something so hard right now. I can tell. I think it actually might be better if you just stay on the road. Dang. It says race through the forest yeah, at night, Danny. Why would it tell me to Don't do go that? off book. <laughs> Nine seconds impossible. Yeah, these are pretty hard actually. I saw. It's I think 1.2 I saw Sean kilometers do this, like, six away. Times. Yeah. They are very hard. Also, this wood on this tree that you're about to hit is very hard. All right, well, that was fun. Let's do another one. Cool. <laughs> yeah, let's try something else. So, yeah, you just kind of like race around. You listen to some radio stations. You get <laughs> get in the groove. Yeah. Maybe you do a, a, a race of one kind or another. Do you guys want it's to just play? kind of like a little. Um, I, I feel like these try to go for a different kind of immersion that you, when you were talking about that earlier. Were you speaking about your experience with Forza 5 specifically? Forza 5, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Did you play Horizon much? 
a lot of uh, there was a lot of love for Horizon. It was pretty. I can see, see why, because like, dude, you go around those tracks so much. And Don't do a super hot hatch. We did that on the other live stream. It's <laughs> just burning Sean's credits to fast travel. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you just you play the same tracks over and over, right? Like. They're fun though, like Superstone. You could, you want to go to, right. you know, Nurburgring now is back and forth to five, which is great. And uh, now they have Long Beach. Those are fun, but it's Would like the same reputation? track over and over. Road America. Now Laguna you're going Seca. to Road America. Yeah, Laguna yeah. Seca. Like I'm so good at the corkscrew. Like there's actually out. not that many tracks in. There's four not to at five, all. Really. And you just start. I was quite shocked. Yeah, you start just playing them over, and you, and then so to have this open world is. To just be able to drive in like a bunch of new places, totally made up Europe town. It's nice though. So. It's not totally made up. I mean, it's inspired by the real, by true events. Yeah. Well, let's find. <laughs> much, much like. Yeah, the, find one more. New. The that's movie a, it of says new life. right there. Four, Four Street Race. Dawn. No, I think we did that on the live stream. Oh, why'd you say? It says new though. Sure, then we didn't do it on the live stream. about this one? Oh, that's no. the one you did. Yeah, yeah. Do that one. Do, the, yeah, just, do that one. It's just, close. Yeah. It's close. Street Race? Lie. Let's see your street Amazing. racer skills. Show race me on a street. Hatch. Did it not? Do you normally the do way? the cockpit cam? Is this your jam? Yeah, I like the cockpit. Is it not right here? Yeah, just bang a right. Okay. What's up with his hands? His hands are weird. Oh, they don't know how to animate hands at turn 10. Turn 10? Yeah. All right, if you are a good hand animator, you Apply. should hit up Brian Eckberg. There might be like yeah. a... CC me, though, because... <laughs> you want to get that? <laughs> you wanna I want to get, get the referral, referral bonus. bonus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that definitely exists. I don't know if that's that how referral work. bonuses work. Yeah. Just anybody. <laughs> At any time. Yeah. Yo, they should it's make the Obama world. president. <laughs> Give me that referral Who bonus. Who got that referral bonus? Yeah, right. No, they line those up way in advance. That's Cheney big money. It. Jesse Jackson. <laughs> All right, Andy. Try not to suck so bad this Fort time. Fort Street Race. Cool. Can I, can I no. change my no. car? No. Uh, oh, wait. Change your car? I don't know. Whatever. You're in a hot hatch, man. There are people in the chat who I'm sure are just waiting for Shadows of Mordor. Shadow Do a hatch em up. Yeah, that game's boss. Yeah, that game's boss. We're not talking about that now. We can, we're hyping it up, though. We're hype we have a review for that game up. Yeah. Yeah, because we're good at our jobs. We sure are. But you're not that good at driving. Come Dude, on, man. They're all in front of you. Look. Make a power it's a, move. I, it's not until like the last second where you want to be in first. Gago Poo's in saying. front of you. What is this, Mario Kart? Whoa, Jesus. You're going to get a better See, item in last? See, this is the driver tower's downfall, though, is Go. that they all kind of mess the corners up. Although it's better, it was better than the AI because in Forza 4, the AI would just go really slow. Oh, really? What to compensate? I don't know, yeah, they just weren't as good. Yo, JFizz99, you reckon he was born in 99? How galling would it be if you were beaten by a 15 year old driver tar? 15 year olds are good at video games. They are That's good true, games. yeah. They have that would time. not actually be that surprising. Their, their yeah. neural receptors are turbo boosty. They're MLG. Yeah, they've they're got like the fast reflexes. Yeah, yeah they're, all, they're, they're just no scoping you right now. <laughs> If I do lose, it's probably because I put the tire pressure on my front tire <laughs> point too, too much. You know? That wouldn't let you change the diff. That was a really yeah, bad... The diff is locked, yeah. so, like... That was really bad advice also, that guys, I gave you. in Horizon, there's, there's weather. rain. There's rain. That Look. rain looks pretty damn good, actually. Yeah, it does. They got, like, rendering on the rain. <laughs> yeah, they sprinkle some rendering, rendering on that? Yeah, they, Render man. If only the... <laughs> All these, these if these only the rain guy so could do hands. I know. Game. They nailed rain, but, like, hand guy, come on. I can't believe we gave this a 10, even though it's got no hands. Yeah. <laughs> Putting it out there. Rumor control. When is the review going up? Well, Kevin, when's the review going Kevin's up? Kevin's got it well, in. Now, Forza Horizon. It's a, it's a long story. It's it's when's the review going up? Give me a day. Oh, you come on. Story. It's a long story, apparently. They're going to have a street race. At least close it down. No, on, man. Get that's how they do it in Europe. It's, that's why they call it Zuropa. Everyone, that's what everyone calls that whole continent. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't called it Europe in years. <laughs> I only called it Europe over here, so you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, when he moved to Frisco, he just started calling <laughs> it Zuropa. You guys, are, you guys are just clowns. Yeah. The best. Yeah. Listen, man, someone's got to provide the comedic relief. You should Frisco, do, you should do the improv. Apple. All right, give me a, an occupation <laughs> and a time. Car of, race and man a time driver. Of day. Oh. Rainy o'clock. Guys, get in. We're going for a race drive. <laughs> 85%. Andy, you can do it. You know what the problem Four is? Four out of 12. The muffler on this car is just too quiet. <laughs> you're a big muffler, man. I'll you want you a blat. You want, if it's not blat, blat, blatten, yeah. Yeah. your race is flat. That's why we call uh, him Andy the Muff Lover Bauman. 
Yeah, just like a big muffler. Hi, Mom. I hope you're not watching right now. Oh, hi, Mom. It's your birthday today. Happy birthday, Mom. Is it your birthday? Your mom's birthday? It's not my birthday. It's my mom's hey, birthday. Hey, I got shot 12 points. You should at least be a little bit happy. Andy Bauman. Congratulations. Dun, you, were, dun, you were only dun, beaten dun, by dun. Video Burrito Oh, we're in an Astra. Wow, we said like every <laughs> other car besides an Astra. Yeah. Nice Is that work. a European car? Opel Astra. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Opel, they make them in Zoo. I only drive Subaru, sorry. What's Opel called? Is it Vauxhall it's called Voxel, outside of Ireland? Yeah, Vauxhall right. Astra, yeah. I'll tell it's you weird. what though, driving that WRX is the best driving. It's so fun. Do you in think, real life. Do you like, think, Andy's talking about his real car right now, to clarify. It's so fun. Can you, okay, but you, you <laughs> like, did- Shut it down. You did go back to the shop. And and because they sold to me with like a crack in the exhaust. And I was but like, you wanted on. to get the muffler taken out because yeah. it was too obnoxious. Yeah. But then you didn't. I haven't yet. So what are no, you man, going to? No, man, you live in no, Oakland. You know. need to put a whistler in there. I, s <laughs> I set off someone's car alarm with the muffler. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> You're that guy. You're yeah. that guy in the but neighborhood. It's so fun to drive. It's like incredible. Does that All mean right. that you can't come home? I can like, do Forza after, Horizon in real life. I can just go off road. In no Oakland. One's stop me. Yeah, in Oakland. You Sometimes you have to go off road. You in do. Oakland. Yeah. You're going to. You're going to yeah. South Oakland. You need to. You need to get out of there. GTFO. Quick. Yeah. yeah. I just fast. Go, I just go. That's road. how. You, that's how you, you GTFO in cities on roads. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. There's no fields. Andy Bevan. Forza Horizon. It's. Uh, I can't wait to actually. Forza, Forza Horizon. Horizon. It's two. Two. It's good, but it's not as good as owning a It's Subaru one to me. If WRX. it's new to me, it's new to everybody, I assume. National Geographic. Andy, thank you very much for coming on. Shadows of Mordor. Coming, sorry. Shadow. It's one shadow. That's the sequel. Also, it's Middle Earth Shadow Middle of Mordor. Middle Earth. I'm going to be pedantic shadow, about that title yeah. all segment long. It's going to be awesome. Lowercase e, but a hyphen. Yeah! Gotcha. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor coming up next after we take uh, a quick look at the trailer for its season pass. Ugh. <laughs> there will be more battles, Charlie. You must prepare. Get the season pass to unlock an exclusive mission to destroy the Guardians of the Flaming Eye and battle Sauron's elite legions to earn epic runes. Test your skills in four challenge modes. Gain experience in runes and compare your victories with friends on the online leaderboards. Season Pass owners unlock every challenge mode instantly for a head start in their domination of Mordor. Time to go hunting! <laughs> Gain new skills and unique epic runes as you hunt and tame legendary monsters of Mordor in these all new story missions. My powers return! Play as Celebrimbor, the great elven king of the Second Age, and wield the Ring of Power to face the Dark Lord Sauron himself. I like it. Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor. Hordor. There's a, there's a conflict raging in our office, Danny. What is it? And it is over what the proper pronunciation of Mordor is. Oh, uh, what's the, the proper stupid pronunciation of Mordor, I should okay. say. I prefer Mordor. Yeah, I like that. The Hugo Weaving from Lord of the Rings. But you go in for the Game of Thrones reference. Mordor. Yeah. Mordor. Kevin, as Mordor. the official reviewer for Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor, what do you go for? See, I always thought it was like gold, frankincense, and <laughs> Mordor. So I'm just like, it's. <laughs> Well, regardless, <laughs> that's what Jesus got. That one sounds birthday. moist. He did. He got frankincense. He got myrrh, Frankenstein and a copy of uh, Middle Earth: Shadow of Mordor, which was quite galling right. because the PS4 wasn't invented until 2014 years later. 13. It was mostly the shiny disc that really Happy. He gave it to. Him. He got excited about. It was like a little diorama. Yeah. Yeah. This because you're born in a manger doesn't mean you can't have a diorama. Manger. I'm thinking uh, no, 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 of. Uh, no, no, no. It's, it's, you're thinking of manager. A mobile. I'm thinking of a mobile. <laughs> Yo, this game is pretty good, apparently. Yeah, yeah it's quite it good. Quite, quite good. It looks good. pretty as hell as and well. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a leap of faith <clears throat> okay. off of the uh, off of the tower. So you were, in the, our review on GameSpot.com, uh, you were pretty quick to draw comparisons to Assassinino. Well, it's a, kind of impossible not to. But good comparisons, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I love Assassin's Creed. It's pretty well established. 
All right, we're playing this on the PS4 as well. It's just so people yeah. uh, want to know. He gads! What did you make this head into? And this is, that is, um, I use it for butternut squash soup later. Yeah. Um, uh, it, Tangy. This is after the game is finished. So okay. this is in the, the just the open world, um, all of the side stuff. There's no story stuff left for me. So now it's just tooling around and doing whatever I want. Is that why it's vaguely sunny? Because you made the sunshine on Mordor? I, I don't think that's really how it. <laughs> this is not how it is. This is not, this is not actually Mordor. This is the other the okay. other area that I'm not going to mention because I'm Shall going to get it named. wrong. So tell, oh, us, tell ride, us about the game. The Caragor. Tell us about the, the, the like the fighting combat action, the how the mission stuff works. It's super great. So it does obviously take a hang on. It's it's so hard to talk and play at the same time yeah, sometimes. Yeah. So it does take its cues from Assassin's Creed clearly, but the combat is prob is is more Batman Arkham. Okay. And it's more than, difficult uh, than Creed. both those games, oh, the combat yeah. situations. Once like you, you get into, into trouble, let's see if I can go find a way to get into go trouble. Go find some trouble. That let's shouldn't be hard. Trouble. Like Once you start picking a fight with orcs, especially if there's a captain around, uh, the captains are sort of these, you know, th th there's this whole nemesis system that, you know, you fight these marquee captains and learn sort of uh, information about them so that you know how to better kill them, and then you sort of move up the ranks. That's sort of how you progress to try to, to start some shit. But uh, they like, if you get into a battle and like two captains are in there and then their whole bunch of their buddies are there too, you can get overwhelmed really easily and just get worked. Yeah. I've gotten worked a lot in my first few hours of playing this game. And because it, I don't run away. Because I'm like, ha ha, yeah. bring it on everybody, I'll kill you. Oh god, no. I'm and dead. you have to run, especially if they, if they like ring their bell. Um, you're, you can be screwed big time if that happens. Like you'll go from having maybe 20 dudes around you and suddenly you'll have maybe 60. Mm -hmm. um, and suddenly you're like, I can't do this. Yeah. Um, One of the most interesting things I've seen in its preview coverage, I, have, I haven't touched this yet at all, um, uh, is the whole, the nemesis system stuff, but the, the fact that like if you if you die because of your character sort of situation, he is revived or whatever because of this oh, sure. really thing. Oh, <laughs> well, that, no way. Here's right what I was hoping junk. to do is, is be able to do this. So I'm going to brand him, and that means I basically convert him to my cause. Okay. Karagor, you're in the way. Thank you. It listened. It did. What does this do? It's impressive. Does he just fight so you So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to convert him to my cause over and over and over again. So now he'll just simply fight for, for me, but I can still use him for other stuff. Like I can... I'll dominate him now. Dominate. And this is one of the creepiest things, My oh. one of my favorite things in the game is, so you're playing um, basically a, 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 a ranger, basically a, a dead ranger yeah. for all intents and purposes, and a wraith um, that are combined into one body essentially. When you do that, you're using the wraith skills to... Uh, to, uh, to, to learn do about all this the snag to learn the about red. yeah so so here we go into the nemesis system so I've I've gone ahead and not only have I converted him to my cause but now I've gone into his brain okay and and uh, now I can do a few things so you see the entire hierarchy of orcs here hmm. now I can dismiss him now now this is by the way you don't get a lot of this stuff until much later in the game so okay. don't be sad when you first when you first start playing you don't have access to some of these skills but now I can dismiss him. And for, to fight, he can fight for my cause then and spread the fear, yeah. um, or I can just kill him. I think I'm just going to dismiss him because now he'll fight for me. And to what end? Well, to what end? What what's going to happen then? I'll I'll go back into the army. So what will happen then is like eventually you want to uh, convert all of the war chiefs to your cause. Okay. And the the best way of doing that is to start at the bottom of the hierarchy, convert some of these guys to your cause, and then what will happen is as they start growing up the ranks, eventually they'll earn the, the war chief status, yeah. and then you'll have a war chief in place. It's all very political machinations kind of stuff, but uh, y y it's kind of easiest to start from the ground up. I mean, it's really hard to just go after a war chief like right from away. From a conceptual level, that sounds absolutely brilliant. And it really does like, work it? out the yeah. way it sounds. Um, the first first half of the game, so it's basically sort of split into two acts. The first half, you know, you do a lot of that stuff, but it's it's not as involved as the second half when you really start to get into the, some of that cool stuff. Mm. And one of my favorite things is just to go into a camp and then start converting everybody. <laughs> and then I can call out the war chief and suddenly I'll have like a war going on 
um, between between like different dudes. Between yeah. your mind slaves and the other orcs. So orcs. you have stuff like that. When you do that, like if if I convert one dude, if I take over his mind and then he and then he then gets an opportunity to like fight another guy that mm. I haven't taken over, I can join in on the on the uh, on the fight. Are you gonna I'll go do something like that right now. Cool. Um, and does that stuff get like boring at any stage? Because it sounds like so fascinating. Like as you like a couple of hours in, does it become like played out at all, or is it not really? That's but great. I, I think with I mean not for me anyway. Yeah. But I think with something like this, it sort of comes down to how much you love the fundamentals. Mm. And I think the fundamentals are really strong, especially if you do. And I hate to keep drawing the, the comparison, but it's a really easy one to make, which mm. is the Assassin's Creed comparison. If you do like the structure of Assassin's Creed, but just wished it had, for example, better combat and was more challenging and yeah. things like that, then I think you're going to get a real a real kick out of this, and it doesn't really get old for me, in part because I like the feel. I'm, I'm still doing that kind of creedy thing, going up the cliffs and whatnot. Chris, can so you you're think? Sorry, go on. No, I'm just curious for you, Kevin. Coming into this, you're obviously a huge fan of the Assassin's Creed franchise. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about the Lord of the Rings? I love the Lord of the Rings, and oh, I'm, okay. not, I'm not one of the... So I, I know all the books, and I've watched all the movies, and I've played so so many Lord of the Rings games, it's not even funny. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, I'm not one of those guys. I'm not like the comic book guy of the Lord of the Rings universe or anything. It's not like I'm I'm so involved that I understand all of the uh, the ins and outs of the universe. There are a lot of... A lot of people that are much better yeah. at knowing that stuff than me. But you don't need to have that much like knowledge. To no, and and in the end, I think the story in this game is pretty disappointing, all things okay. considered. Um, it's it's not bad. Can you shoot the bees. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot the bees. Oh God, not the bees. So this terrorizes, and then I. Why can do, do they even let the bees live there? <laughs> Guys are terrible. I think they're actually called Mordor flies. They're not technically bees, but come on, if you're not calling them bees, I what are you doing? I call them bees. I forget what their name is. So here is. Let's see. There we go. Is your assassin's vision? So he's going to introduce himself to me because he's a. I think he's a captain. Okay. okay. So I'm going to just wait for him to do that. I think. I don't think nope, so. No, he's not. Never mind. So yeah, when they do that, um, if you've had like priors with them. Oh God, damn it. Uh, they like if you if you lost to them in the past, they'll say like I thought you were dead and yeah, yeah. That's it's so cool. If you come across really a dude, cool. and uh, oh, execution, I just kind of like doing that. Of so, course you like doing that. Look at that, it's sick as hell. If you come across a dude that you've already that's beaten you before, so when you die, you you go back to one of those towers like when I first started. Okay. Um, and then you go, can go back and try to go after the guy again. So now I've converted him in the, in the course. So he'll just go. He'll he'll just kind of hang he'll around just go and help start me some out. Shit. Yeah. So anyway, sorry about that. I, I get. I, I'm really so use your distracted. use your like Wraitho vision and see who, which guy you want to go after, right? Yeah. You're yeah, gonna go the, find the supporter. Captain? Well, he's the. I gotta grab the supporter. He's the guy that's marked in yellow. What do you mean supporter? So he's supporting one of the chiefs. And in order to get to the chiefs, I grab. I, I need to get to the supporter. Sometimes to, to draw out, like a war chief, you have to. Uh, you have to sort of. Uh, you have to do certain things. Sometimes it, it just means uh, killing supporters. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's a fun thing I can do. Whoa! All right, hacks. I'm sorry that, that I'm not very good hack. at talking and playing at the same That's time. Cool. <laughs> it, it just so happens that this is a game that you could probably watch being played for quite a while. Yep, it's actually really entertaining. Oh, yeah, I love that fireplace back there. It's just like yeah. a maw. Like, what do you even, what is the practicality of having <laughs> this? Oh, by Come the way, on. you just saw this sort of Splinter Cell ver vision where, yeah. where it shows you the little ghost of where you just were. That tells oh, you that yeah, they that's... know yeah, someone that is arching there, at you. and that's the last place. So it's, it seems like there's a lot of variety in terms of how to kill people. I remember seeing with that nemesis What did you just murder that random that dude for? That was cold oh as ice. So I like that. You can, like, get them in the leg and then trap them there. Can you throw them off the cliff? Grab them and throw them off. Just... just... Nice. <laughs> yeah. Do it to this guy, too. Okay. Just Good chuck him off the bridge. Come on. Come on. It's more, <laughs> it's more fun to, to chuck Do it to this guy, fires. too. Okay. okay, I'm not going to be able to do this any longer in the, the supporter. Oh. Oh. Aw, <laughs> sorry, Kevin. Oh, you had to keep him hostage. I need to keep him hostage. Keep That's all right. The bridge as well. it, was, it, it was much more fun to just throw these dies off the, uh, throw these guys it really off the... Is. It but reminds me of it'll, it'll like keep me here. Saints Row 2, we sat around for a whole afternoon just 
grabbing pedestrians and chucking them over a <laughs> off of a bridge into the water, <laughs> so their heads would clang against the metal guardrail. Uh, it's, there seems to be a lot of um, variety in terms of when you're entering these places. Like, can you go on in all guns blazing and also do like the stealth stuff? Can you get in there and like Assassin's Creed one style kill? that one warlord and Sometimes get you, you absolutely can. Right now, I'm gonna run because I'm probably gonna get my ass Yeah, there were a me. lot of dudes there. That was a good run situ like runaway situation. So, but I saw the meat, there it is. I'll uh, oh, and the, the beast. beast fall. And the bees. Oh, is there bees? I didn't see the bees. There are, but, yeah, oh, there are bees. the bees, okay, get the bees, get the bees, get the bees. Oh, god damn it, bees. I feel like he should just run. <laughs> oh, there's more bees. There's so many bees on parade. Dana, and now I'm out of elf shot. So look, look at that! Look all at those, go, look at all go. of those red uh, triangles that were following you are now like running away and crapping themselves in fear. Oh yeah, they're all like, they all spread out all over the place. Yeah, and that's super helpful. Again, it, you know, and it's funny because in Assassin's Creed, you know how, you know, there's so many ways of doing stuff. But you're never actually given a reason to do all those things. You can go through the entire game never doing all sorts of shit. Like using yeah. all your little gadgets, Who needs and your this bomb, bomb and that bomb. Who needs this? You know, yeah. here you actually Good need point. that stuff because the game's actually pretty challenging. Yeah. And so I find myself sneaking around. And this has an, an actual sneak button. Look at this gang like of this, hooligans. I feel like this game kind of, in a way, crept out of nowhere. Like we we covered it a lot at E3, and we had like. We've had oh, sort of a lot of access to it, especially all that Nemesis stuff. But it's it <coughs> kind of ended up being like a you know it's a it's a, a a film and book you know licensed game that is better than Assassin's Creed Four. Like it's is this like the best version of an Assassin's Creed? I don't game know that's if I would say out? it's it's as good as Assassin's Creed Four. Yeah, I think um, I would probably say ultimately I think Assassin's Creed Four is better. But I, it, I don't it, know. I didn't really like Four, so maybe that's just me. Well, it sort of depends too. Like, I think Assassin's Creed has had a lot longer, right, to like build up story and to do interesting things. And uh, I think that's where this game kind of loses it a little bit, is in the story and also right. in the, sort of the the diversity of the environments and the things that you're doing. I how, think Assassin's Creed does a better job of. How big is the map? Because you looked at something earlier, but I think that was just this region. So here's this. You get two maps of approximately this size. Okay. So here's. Um, oh. I've, I'm trying to remember. I don't remember how to get to the other map. Or two. Maybe. No, no, that's all right. It's fine. But there's 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 another. There are two maps of basically the same size. Is that not? So. Does it feel small and restricted? Just cross or? your eyes and you'll see them both. Well, only only in the sense that a lot of the times the areas start to really look the same. Okay. Um, but I never felt restricted at all. It always felt like there were places to go and things to do there. Grab that guy. He's the intel. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm not gonna kill him. They don't murder him. But like I'm gonna try to murder guy. the other dudes first. So, but so in that respect, like it's not, it doesn't remind you of something like like any of the Assassin's Creed in terms of having this kind of quite grand playground to to explore. Yeah. Ooh. Let's see. Does it does it feel like more of a, an action game, like or oh, maybe nice. like Arkham City or something? It does have a little bit more of that. Uh, Sorry, I, it's, I'm so bad at it's talking right. at the same You're time. You're doing fine. Um, <laughs> but it, it does have a little bit more of that go from place to place and sort of that this is just the kind of thing you do is you chase the waypoints and do the things they say there and then once yeah. you clear that one up you go on to the next. I feel like Assassin's Creed is maybe a little bit more... Um, different. The, the pacing is a little bit less rhythmic yeah. in that sense. It gives you a lot of other stuff to do. But again, it's had so long to do that to put in ship combat and to do this and to do that. So now, like for example, I know that this guy is a bodyguard for this war chief. So it would actually do me good oh. to uh, to go after this guy. But I already know him. Oh, but you can I... gain intel on his strengths and weaknesses. Yes, you can do that twice. There's like two tiers of, of intel. It's knowing who they are and where they are. And then the second tier is all their attributes, their strengths and weaknesses. Right. Which comes in very handy to know, as I found out when here I am, hopping on a Karagor. I'm like, this dude had killed me once, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, so yeah. I got on, and I raced up on him, his back was turned, I was gonna bite his head off, and he just like, casually turns and stabs the crap out of the Karagor, really? and then murders me, because he's like a monster, a monster killer, and can't be killed by monsters, and oh, like, wow. can destroy them super easily. That like, sounds like... Damn it. <laughs> like, it really seems like this game has like, not to, you know, 
go completely crazy, but like I, I can't remember a game that's done something like this before. In terms of like the researching, that, that's the stuff that strikes me is the the getting the intel about your your targets. Uh, sort of, it was certainly impactful in that moment uh, for me. And then also, like you were saying about the sort of the moving up the ladders, like the machinations of, yeah. I'm gonna set this guy against this guy, or I should really target this dude to get information about this other guy, and like working your way up to the bosses so that the bosses feel like bosses, I guess. Yeah. Like once you get there, Kevin, does it feel like, man, I've worked hard to get here, like it is on, like this is gonna be a, I'm gonna take this dude down and it's gonna be really satisfying? It really does, and it's funny because when I first heard about a lot of this stuff, my worry was, oh, it's all gonna be kind of meaningless. It's gonna be mid window dressing that doesn't really have an impact. It'll just be there to be there. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. And the fact that it wasn't that is what amazed me the most yeah. about it. Yeah. Well, how many game systems have we heard talked about big and then they just don't turn out? Yeah. yeah. You know? Especially when you hear that with Assassin's Creed a lot. And I, again, I hate using that. It's just such an easy comparison to go to. But you hear that a lot. It's like, oh, well, this time the, you know, the, you know, we're making this more meaningful or stealth more meaningful. This yeah. game actually did it. And it found a good way to do it. And it knew that the, the best way to do that was just to, to make it challenging. And when you make things challenging, then you give the other, the other elements a reason to exist. Like, Chris, you're, it sounded really cool, that whole, like, Cargore bit where mm -hmm. you, like, if you had known that information, he would have... I definitely would have not done that, yeah. But, but then, like, it, the whole thing where in boss fights in most games, you, you attempt to do it, and if you don't do it, you just reload and you do it again. Whereas in this one, if you lose to these guys, they actually get more powerful. Yeah, That's they like get more a, powerful. Yes. They might like move to a different spot. They might be They might. It might be a different location with different entourage around them or different envi environmental elements around right. them. And so, yeah, like it does feel like you have to ad adapt. You know, it's not just like hitting your head against the wall until yeah, you determine like, all right, yeah, I'm just gonna hit it a few more times and then I'll get it. Because that probably makes those boss encounters then feel like way more significant than most. They really do, especially because they they introduce. The the uh, the captain and the war chief every time with a great big, I'm gonna get you <laughs> yeah. and blah 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 and it's like, whoa, the drama is almost too much for me. Well, you were telling me that what like with some guys they'll like the orcs will chant their name. The the Why war chiefs. Them? The, the, the war chiefs when it when the war chief comes out you draw the war chief out. Mm. Um, what happens is in the soundtrack. Um, it, it's like, let's say the guy's name is Hork, and they're yeah. like, that's one of the early guys is Hork. So they'll go like, Hork, Hork, <laughs> Hork, Hork. And it's really cool when they do that, because it's like, wow, they really, you know, this is, this is something. This fight's meaningful. Yeah, and you know the name because you've been targeting that dude yeah. for like the previous hour or however long it's taken you. But a lot of the other, a lot of the other dudes, it just ends up being, you know, I think some of the names are just procedurally generated. Okay. Sorry, I just couldn't help myself. I mean, yeah. there's also like a pool, you know, like I've seen a few, not in my game, but in like a couple different games, there's different, uh, proc, like, prac, this guy, P-R-A-K, but he's different things. He's like, the Raven Slayer, or, <laughs> right. you know, the Biter, I don't know, like, Raven they... Slayer is a bit crap, isn't it? Yeah. I kill ravens. <laughs> I kill the bird. And the bird do, hunter. They do a really good <laughs> job of making sure they set up the orcs in a way where you understand that they're not necessarily just one giant, you know, hive mind. They're not like all Sauron's, yeah. you know, eyes and ears quite yet. Like they have minds of their own and, and they, they clash and, you know, it, there's, there's no sense of, somebody asked me this on Twitter and I, I, I might as well mention, there's no sense of like, this guy, you know, this, these peop, these guys believe in this and these guys believe in this. It's not, oh. It's political, but it's self-serving in that sense. Yeah, it's like so they're all out for themselves, but they know something big's going down in Mordor, and also, like, the men really aren't around, so it's kind of a good place to be, uh, be a, basically like a pirate. These guys are kind of pirates. Right, yeah. they, f they feel like that. Yeah, they really uh, do, even in their speech. Because it's like a land outside kind of... of law, you know, of the... Just another way in which this is like Assassin's Creed 4. <laughs> <laughs> Pirates. I never even thought of the pirate connection, <laughs> but they, you know, they are they're, the the orc are pretty gruff. So I like it. I, I this yeah everything I've heard about this and like people chatting around the office and stuff. This game sounds like an absolute like wonderful little pleasant surprise. Um, oh yeah, I'm looking forward to. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was. I mean, not yeah. that I really expected. I mean, when I, I I play so many games now that it's hard to go into any game with with any expectation, expectation per se. Yeah. Um, but. 
you know, I think this would truly classify as sort of an out of nowhere hit. Yeah. You know, and I mean, it's Lord of the Rings. People are going to buy Lord of the Rings stuff, right? You know, it, there wasn't. Sure, those Hobbit movies are doing okay, right? Are they? Sure, uh, sure, yeah. They uh, got, they're, they're, they're doing. But it's one of those things where it's like there's a, you know, it's a, you know, there, there was no, you know, it's a Lord of the Rings game. That's not necessarily a mandate for it to be good for it no, to not sell at all. well. Yeah, yeah. Certainly not. So the fact, that, the fact that it is so good, is uh, just one more amazing thing about Excellent. it. Excellent, Kevin. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, Middle Earth: Shadow of Mordor. Nailed um, it. Thank you. Is that on? Uh, uh, PS4, Xbox One. PS4, Xbox PC. One, PC, and I think there are previous gen versions. They're coming. They're not out. Yeah, they're coming. Really, I believe. Yeah. Interesting. Is that now the format? Because that's not happening with the WWE game. They're putting out the previous gen, and then like three weeks later, putting out the next gen. Oh, I, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I don't know. It seems like you'd want to lead with your like real you sexy hitter? looking yeah. foot, right? Speaking of which, it just looks great on PC. Why? Yes. Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot. He has Chris, sexy feet. Can I Kevin? see your foot? I mean, listen. I don't want to. I don't want to alarm anybody, but let's just Ow! take a look at that what, bad boy right there. What, what I'm keeping size? it covered for decency's sake. What but. side of what size of shoe? Is oh, that? it's eleven and a half. And a half? Yeah. Some the half mm, makes all the right. difference. <laughs> Kevin Van Ord, thank you very much for coming on. How wide is it? That's what's really important. It's, a bit, it's girth. Triple E. No, what girth? It's just, just a normal width, average. Average? Average width. How do you know? Have I'm, you seen many other feet? <laughs> I'm much less interested in your foot now, Chris. Wow. That was a roller Danny, coaster ride saying, of emotion. You were, I've, I've moved past you. Yeah. We were, you were saying, Danny? Thanks, for coming, on, thanks for coming on, Kevin. <laughs> I, have, I bet 11 and a half as well. Yeah. We should compare later. All right, yeah, we'll uh, check it out. Yeah. Let's do a little Do a little uh, <laughs> sword fighting with your feet. All right, that's the show. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, thanks, Kevin, coming on. Oh, uh, it's Andy. my pleasure, always. And uh, yeah, uh, same time next week. Thanks to everyone in the back. Josh, Dan, Mary, who's on the jib, doing a great job right now. Yeah. Eric Tay. Uh, love you guys. <laughs> Don't See mess you next up, week. Mary. Tuesday, 2 p.m. Pacific. Adios.